What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Yeah, we're in, like, this underground box room thing. <laughs> yeah, so last episode, we started fresh in this mod pack. We made some of the early game Tinker stuff. Yep. Uh, we got ourselves an ultimate furnace as one of our rewards. Stone crafting table is a thing, apparently. I guess we could probably make a regular crafting table, but we had to make this to start out the mod pack. But yeah, we have access to trees now, so I don't know. I, I guess... We can use like a regular crafting station or a crafting table. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, we got some other things and we are trying to progress today. Off camera, I have harvested over a stack of wood, um, just planting down the trees, twerking at it, getting them to grow, and then just vein mining them down, right? So not a big deal, except this one just doesn't want to grow for some reason. Ding. Anyway, uh, so I've... Got over a stack of wood. What I was looking at doing is trying to take some of this wood and turn it into charcoal. Since we have this ultimate furnace here, I expect we'll be able to smelt a whole lot of wood in almost no time at all. So, yeah, look at that. <laughs> One plank, and we barely used any fuel. Oh, my goodness, guys. This ultimate furnace is ridiculously awesome. All right, so now that we have that, <laughs> uh, we should be able to make ourselves a bunch of sticks and then make some torches. That's one of the first things that I wanted to do. We only had the one torch, this guy right here that we started with, to light everything up, and it's getting quite dark. So let's put some light around, shall we? And I guess I'll put one right there. Okay, uh, so now we got everything lit up. It looks a little bit nicer in here. We can see it's very, very good. I guess I'll get rid of that. So while chopping down the oak trees, we did end up getting a plump peach and a plump pear. Both of these are from Tiny Progressions. I was looking at the uses of them, and it looks like we can turn them into various foods, which is good, uh, but it doesn't have, like, you can't turn it into a tree or anything. So I was just like, eh, okay. Well, it's interesting that we got those because I haven't really seen these before. Same thing with the plump peach. There really isn't much use for it. It's like the same kind of things. Um, I guess you can throw it into a culinary generator, but anyway, it's just kind of like taking up inventory space. But one of the things that I wanted to look at, since we are running low on food, we have been getting apples from the oak saplings. Um, we can make ourselves an apple sapling. Ah, yeah. So there we go. Apple sapling. So with the apple sapling, we should be able to twerk nearby. Oh, that grew this time. We should be able to twerk nearby the tree and grow, well, I guess, bone meal the apples and then harvest them, so that should be free food. I keep forgetting in this mod pack, you have to hold something in your hand for the vein mining to work. Let's redo that, there we go. All right, so I guess one of the first things we're gonna have to do is kind of figure out where we are going to place that tree, since it is gonna take up some space, uh, but we are gonna need the food at the same time, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to dig out a room specifically for that, or I guess dig out areas so we can have it planted. Uh, the other thing is, as far as apples go, the uses on these guys, I was kind of looking at what we can do with them, and it seems like juicing them is probably, well, maybe even just turning into applesauce might be better. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at this. So we do apple juice versus apple sauce. So the apple juice gives us one full hunger haunch and two and a half saturation. And the apple sauce gives us a one full hunger haunch and two and a half saturation. So they're both the same, but this one requires two apples and a juicer to make this, whereas the apple sauce requires one pot and an apple. The pot does require brick, and the juicer requires just stone. So, yeah, uh, for the start, we're probably going to just use a juicer, um, and then we'll switch over to apple sauce later on. I don't know. It seems kind of silly <laughs> that they're both exactly the same, but this one just costs the brick. So as soon as we learn how to make clay, I guess we should switch over to apple sauce. Uh, so that's probably one of the next things we're going to do. Why did all of my hotbar stuff get moved? What the heck? Huh. There must be some button that I press that like moved everything off my hotbar. Interesting. So getting back to the quest book here, uh, the next step is after we get food situated, they want us to make floor fertilizer, the smeltery, or string. String is probably the next logical step that we should do. So it says string is obtained by infecting leaves with silkworms. Silkworms drop from leaves and ha from leaves, and the drop chance is higher when breaking leaves with a crook. Okay, so that seems like something that we can do. Um, if you're hearing noises in the background, 
my uh my cat max is playing around with a <laughs> I, I guess it's like a little ball thing he keeps spinning around it's making some noise um so yeah we need to get a half a stack of string so we need to get ourselves silkworms to begin with so i guess what we should do is plant a tree real quick uh grow it and then vein mine the leaves with a crook i assume the stone crook's gonna work yeah okay so we just got ourselves a silkworm right there that's pretty much all we needed so we can vein mine this tree back down grow another one place a silkworm on one of the leaves let's do that real quick just twerk it there it goes awesome all right so i'll place the silkworm i guess it doesn't really matter anywhere but just do that that'll start infesting the leaves and as that gets infested it'll spread to the other ones you guys have seen this before uh, and then once everything is fully infested, we can vein mine it all down, get more silkworms, get some string, and then progress from there. So let's wait for that to happen real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. The entire tree has been infested. Everything should be ready to go. So let's vein mine those leaves down. Oh boy, here we go. 40 string right away and quest complete. Get the rest of these. There it is. Okay, so we got ourselves, you know, a decent amount of string here, 56 of them. I like it. So let's get rid of the rest of this tree trunk because we don't need that anymore. Um, okay, very good. You know what? We probably could just place the apple sapling here. I don't think we need more wood than what we currently have at the moment, do we? Like, we got a pretty good amount for right now. And then we can always make another apple sapling. So let's just place this right here. We'll grow this thing. Does that... Does twerking not work on this particular tree? I'm not seeing the bone meal particles. Huh, interesting. Okay, so maybe it doesn't work like that. Maybe we will need bone meal of some kind to get this thing to grow. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Hmm, okay, well, you know what? We'll just hold on to the apple sapling till later until we can get ourselves a mob farm or something or, you know, just place it off in its own little area and eventually it'll grow. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, well, let's go ahead and make the apple juicer. So that's a stone pressure plate plus stone. So we just need to make ourselves a pressure plate real quick plus stone. There's that. Juicer. Two apples. Apple juice. Let's do it. Nom 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 nom. Okay, so we got ourselves a little bit of food. Uh, really, I'm going to have to chop down some more trees in order to get some more apples so we can have more food. Uh, I was really expecting that apple tree to grow a little bit faster than that, but yeah, it doesn't seem like the twerking mod wants to work on it for some reason. Anyway, let's take the reward from our string. We'll do chop loot chest, pop it, growth crystal, slow growth, works on a 9x9 farm, checks up to two blocks up or down, rare rewards. I wonder if that would make the sapling grow a little bit faster. Hmm, I don't know. Does that work? If I place this, like, over here, is that going to work? Uh, actually, let's look at this one more time. Let's pick this thing back up. So it says works in a nine by nine, checks up to two blocks up or down. So I wonder if it'd be better if I just place it underneath the dirt or whatever. Uh, we can place it right next to it, I suppose, just so it's not taking up any spots. But I don't know if that's really gonna make this thing grow at all. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it might be space requirement, it might just be it needs bone meal. Yeah. I, I guess we'll just wait for it to grow and see what happens. So moving on from that, uh, sieve is our next thing. It says sieves require a mesh. Different resources are obtained by running dirt, gravel, sand, and dust through it with the different meshes. Mesh eye. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, so we need to make ourselves a sieve first of all. So a sieve, okay, we have the heavy variants. We need to make the regular one. So that's made with a slab, four planks, and sticks. Easy. So let's get that done real quick. So we need some sticks. We're going to need some slabs. And we got that. So we should be able to make one like a so. Very good. Okay. So now we got one sieve. I guess we'll just place it here for now until we figure out where it's going to go. Uh, going back to the quest book. By the way, you can bind a hotkey to open the quest book. Notice how I don't have one in my inventory. Our quest book is over here. Yep. I have it bound to the Z key because that's the key that was bound to in Modern Skyblock 3, which I'm currently live streaming. So it just makes sense that I keep it on the same button. Um, so let's move on. Yeah, we'll do, how about the middle loot chest? We did the top one last time. Pop it, we get ourselves speed upgrades and energy upgrades from Mechanism. That's pretty cool. That seems like it's a little far off though, so that's just kind of like taking up inventory space for now, but we will move on anyway. 
So Silk Mesh, Lava Generation, Mob Farm. So we got a few different paths here. I'm assuming Silk Mesh is going to be the next one we want to do since that's like one of the easiest things to do. Uh, I think that's just like this, right? Yeah, no. Well, it's a String Mesh. Is that what we want or is it Silk Mesh? Well, we're going to make a String Mesh. Okay, well, it goes in there, so I guess we're good to go. Um, actually, did that not say... I put that back in my inventory. I don't think that quest got completed, did it? There it is. All right. Guess it wasn't in my inventory for long enough. Let's do the bottom loot chest. We'll claim it and pop it. We get ourselves stone and wood. All right. More early game resources is fine with me. I can put some of this stuff away. I don't need it all in my inventory. All right. So moving on from here, that unlocked the flint mesh. So flint mesh, CJEI for recipes. So the flint mesh is made with string and flint, and we get flint with some gravel. Three gravel turns into one directly. I assume we can just punch gravel and get the low drop rate from that and do a one-to-one. -one. Uh, looks like we can sieve gravel to get it at 13% chance. Mm, any of these other ways to do it? Heavy sieve. What is this one? Lucky egg drops from hatchery lucky egg does that just give you a random thing is that like a loot i guess it's just like a loot crate thing loot pack whatever loot bag um okay well we don't have the flint right now maybe we'll hold off on that for a moment let's take a look at lava generation so it says speeds torch okay so that is the different heating things that you can put underneath the crucible so a torch gives you a, a heat level one lava is three fire five mega torch ten Eulorium 20, Plutonium 30, Superheating Element 60, Awakened Draconium Block 120. Okay, so this kind of reminds me a little bit of like Project Ozone style. Um, obviously the numbers are slightly different, but the fact that there's like the bigger numbers, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, so Crucible, let's take a look at that. The Crucible is made with porcelain clay. So again, we have to find out how to make clay. Um, how do we make clay? Clay ore. There's clay ore. I don't know if that's how we're going to get it in here. Uh, is there a way to get the clay balls? Maybe there's gotta be a way to get this thing. How about the clay block itself? Uh, oh, okay. Fluid block transformation. So we, put dust into that with water. So we need to get water really is our next task. Has it told us how to get water yet? Do we get it from putting leaves in the thing in a crucible? Maybe that's how we're supposed to get water. X compress them. Yeah, that might be it. Can we take a look at the recipes for this wooden crucible? There's a lot of different things that it wants us to put in there. Okay, well, I feel like I might have missed something in the quest book that tells us how to get to where we need to be because it's just telling us how to do lava, but it's not saying how we do it. So I'm just going to take a moment here, try and play around with some stuff off camera, and we'll be right back. Yeah, so going back to JEI for the uses on the Crucible, I saw this, but I thought that was like we're putting all that stuff in there to like turn it into dirt or whatever, you know, what you do with the wooden barrels. But no, when you hover over each of these, it does say water, right? So leaves, for instance, is water, like a quarter of a bucket of water. So four leaves turn into a bucket of water. So this would be pretty much what we need to do. Um, yeah, so it looks like this is how we can generate water, which is good. So let's make ourselves an oak crucible. So that requires one slab and then some logs. We got all of this stuff, not a big deal, okay. So we could do that. So there's our way to make water. And we'll place that over here for now. Uh, we are going to need a way to get leaves. So we're going to need some sticks. And I saw that there was a way to make wooden shears from tiny progressions. Okay, so that is our way to harvest leaves. Uh, so let's put that away again for now. We'll grab another one of these. We'll twerk it a little bit and then get ourselves some leaves so we can turn it into water. Very good. All right, so now if we just cue the leaves into there, or do we right click them in there? I'm not sure. Right click, right click, right click, right click. Okay, so there we go. Eventually that's gonna turn into water. 
Now, the other thing is, I don't know how to get the water out of here and into the thing for the fluid transmutation, or I don't know if maybe we can just put in uh, the dust into the crucible to get the clay. Yeah, these are things I don't know. Let's take a look at bucket. Is there, like, there's clay buckets, obviously, but we're trying to make clay. So how do we get buckets before that? I am not entirely sure. Um, does this pack have actually additions? It does. So I know actually additions, um, I've played other packs before where you can get a troll reward of a bowl that has water in it. So I assume we might be able to use that to transfer water from <laughs> the crucible into, um, the, the wooden barrel. Let's take a look at that wooden barrel. We should make one of these as well, I think. So that's planks plus a log or a slab. Do we have planks? No, let's just do this. Again, I don't know if we need this or not, or if we can just put it directly into the crucible, but we'll make this anyway. Just trying to think like how we're going to get the water from here to here. You know, it seems like the water is filling this all the way up. So maybe you just place it directly into this. Is that what we did before in Forever Stranded Lost Souls? I can't remember now. Uh, there's so many of these different types of like sky block style mods out there and they're all slightly different from each other So trying to keep them all straight is one of those things. that's hard to do uh, But we will need a piece of dust. So let's get that going too. Uh, we need the hammer Do I have that in my inventory? I do okay So we'll take the cobblestone we'll hammer into gravel gravel gets hammered into dirt I didn't see how to make dust. <laughs> okay, well, dirt turns into sand, and then sand into dust. Okay, so there is one extra step in doing this. So, you know what? I'm just curious. My curiosity has the best of me. Can we do this? No, we need planks. If we do this, we make the bowls. I want to take one bowl. Probably don't need to do what I'm about to do. Oh, okay, you can't even grab the water out of here. All right, all right. So don't even worry about that. So right click the dust in there and then we get ourselves clay. Okay, so we don't need the wooden barrel for the transmutation. It works just fine in the oak crucible. Yeah, those are even different mods. X Nihilo versus X Compressum. All right, so we're able to get clay that way. Uh, so we were trying to make the, um, cru I was gonna say cauldron crucible. It's called a crucible, okay. So again, the unfired crucible is porcelain clay, but in order to do that, we need to get ourselves bone meal. So I guess our next step is to make ourselves a mob farm. All right, guys. Well, I started to make a tunnel here so we can make a mob farm. It has to be a certain amount of blocks away from us before mobs will start spawning. And I started digging out like half of it it's going to be the same size going this way so we have a decent amount of spawn space but then my pick broke <laughs> so yeah we got to fix that so with tinker's construct you can just place your pick in the tool station right and then place a piece of cobble for instance since it's made out of cobble to repair it or alternatively what we can do is make ourselves another thing called a sharpening kit so yeah we need to go to the stencil table we have to make one of these because i don't think we have one of those yet Place it on the pattern chest part builder. We'll do that. And we'll just make all the cobblestone that we had in there turn into sharpening kits. So the sharpening kit you can just place in your inventory and it costs two material instead of just one, but one would not fully repair the pickaxe anyway. So I think we're all fine with that. So yes, we can just repair it now as we are mining different things out. So another thing I was kind of curious about, like if we vein mine, oh, we can't vein mine stone. It won't let us do that. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was gonna say if we vein mine like how big of an area will this vein mine because that would make this a lot easier But yeah, unfortunately, it won't allow us to do that. The other thing is though as we are digging out We're getting hungrier and hungrier. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to figure out the food situation I guess sooner rather than later, but we got a little bit of time still not really super worried about it but seeing two hunger haunches down in the hunger bar wiggling a little bit. Yeah, I got my eye on it Anyway, I'm gonna continue this process digging this all out This is gonna take a minute obviously for us to get the space big enough so we can set up our basic mob farm and we'll be right back guys All right guys, so this room has been dug out. Yep, and then I started making some stone brick I was thinking we were gonna have this like raise off the floor uh, once one block and then we could attack the monsters on this 
we're pretty much making this like a standard skyblock style mob farm, right? Uh, this is pretty much the easiest way for us to get mobs at this point. Uh, but anyway, as I was building this, I was like, wait a second, because what we normally want to do is have like a block here and then a slab here, and then we won't be able to like see the mobs or get over there to get the items. Uh, so yeah, we got to make this one block taller. <laughs> so I'll have like a two block tall base here, and then I have this four blocks tall above me right now. So when we have this two blocks tall, there's enough space for an enderman to spawn in here. So anyway, that's our next goals. We got to raise this up one more block like so. Uh, and then we want to put a row of blocks around it with some slabs to prevent like babby zombies and stuff from getting out of there. I don't know what other type of modded uh, mobs are in this game, so we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, so we have that like that and pretty much we just have to slab around like so to prevent like the smaller mobs from getting out. Uh, okay, that only does... Did I get the slab back? I'm not even, t I'm not even sure what happened to it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we want to do this, and we'll probably have to put slabs around the bottom of this as well so we can be up just a little bit higher so we can see easier. And so, like, if we're right here and there's a creeper, it can't see us and try to explode kind of a deal. Yeah, we want to be out of, like, eye contact with the mobs. So we'll probably end up, yeah, just putting slabs around here. I mean, we saw how easy it is for us to get stone, right? That's not a big deal. In fact, I just uh, smelted down some more using one slab. And I guess we need to put torches around. Yeah, using one slab. And we ended up getting like two and a half stacks of stone from one slab, which is amazing. Uh, so let's do that again. We'll place one slab in here. So there's a stack. All right, do that. Keep grabbing this stuff. Yeah, so there we go. Um, I must have messed up something there or whatever, but we should end up with like two and a half, well, at least over two stacks of stone from doing that. Oh, I guess we need to turn those into slabs as well. Let's do that real quick. Uh, so that, and usually there's a recipe we can convert that back. Yeah, so if we make too many, it's not a big deal. Might as well just turn these all into slabs right now just so we have enough. Okay, still watching my hunger bar. It is still wiggling a little bit there, but we're fine for now. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue slabbing out the floor here. I think we'll just do the whole thing in this area out of slabs. I might have to make this one block taller so we'll be able to, like, get through here, but that's not a big deal. But anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and slab this all out. It'll be a little bit dark in this room. We can put torches around on the walls or something. But anyway, let me get to that, and then we'll continue on. All right, so now that we have a mob farm ready to go, we're going to need a way to harvest the mobs. We can punch them, but that's not going to be very effective. We really need to get ourselves some kind of a sword, so let's start working on that. Uh, so we'll do a tool rod pattern. We'll do a wooden tool rod. Okay. I think we're going to do... Um, well, let's go back to the stencil table. We have to make some parts here. Let us make the standard broad sword. So we'll make the pattern for that, and then we also need the white guard thing. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so now we have all that back to the part builder. White guard will go ahead and make out of stone, and the blade will make out of stone so we can repair it. Not the best sword, but it's easy repairable. We have all of the stone around us. Not a big deal. So we'll go to this, and we'll just shift-click those guys in there, and there is a stone broad sword. Um, so it has five attack damage. It gets two modifiers. has some durability. Yeah, whatever. It's not great, but it'll get us by. Uh, our pickaxe did level up while I was mining out that stuff, so we have an additional modifier on there, I think. Yeah, we have three modifiers now, and yeah, you see a ding that now takes a thousand experience, and we have almost 300 of it. So anyway, let's go check out this mom farm and see what we're doing back here. We have an enderman. That's interesting. Um, I wonder if the enderman can teleport out and get to me. We have this little hidey hole, I guess, if something bad happens. Okay. A lot of health. We guess we got a hat, but it didn't drop anything? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so anyway, this is how this room has turned out so far. With the lights around, it's pretty good. You can see that this is completely dark in here. The slabs are preventing the light from going into it. It's tall enough for Enderman to spawn in, so I think this is going to be pretty good. Now, when I ended that last clip, I heard some footsteps. I was like, what the heck? Apparently, there were some creepers that spawned in there. 
and I didn't even notice that. And yeah, uh, without the slabs on the ground, they could see me and <laughs> they were walking towards me. Uh, that could have been bad really, really quickly. But thankfully, I noticed them and nothing bad happened. So now we're kind of in a waiting game, waiting just for mobs to spawn. I'm just looking at the mini map right now. I don't see that there's any icons of monsters that have spawned. The way this is set up, it's not like perfect. Like, mm, it's where mobs can spawn, but with the vanilla spawning mechanics in play, yeah, I, I think it's going to be rather slow. I don't really know what we can do to speed it up at this point, other than just getting lucky. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just going to be a waiting game. Also, the thing is, we don't have like a huge amount of spawnable spaces there. We could try and make this thing like really big, I suppose, but really it's not going to be ideal to do that until we have some kind of conveyor belt, vector plate, something to push the mobs towards us and the drops as well. Looks like we got a skeleton that spawned back there. Let's go say hello to Mr. Skeleton. I was kind of hoping we'd get some zombies so I could get some rotten flesh and have some kind of food coming in other than apples, but one skeleton, mm, don't think they drop anything that we can eat. So arrows and then some bones. Well, the bones are good because we need that for bone meal. Maybe this will allow us to grow the apple tree. Yeah, that's what we should try right now. Let's place down... Oh, I placed this torch here because we had some <laughs> red spots. That's not good. Anyway, let's try placing um, our apple tree down one more time. Our apple sapling. Let's make some bone meal, see if it'll grow... This room might be too small. There might be something interfering with this thing growing. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to waste the other bone. We'll try it. Let me get rid of this torch. I'll move this back a little bit further, maybe. Maybe the torch is preventing it. I don't know. Okay, well, maybe it's just a stubborn tree. So, twerking does not appear to be affecting the apples. That's really unfortunate. I can bone meal them. Which is good, I suppose. But the fact that you can't twerk them makes this less ideal than I was expecting originally. And there's only two apples on this tree. Can you? You can't place one on there, can you? Okay. Well, dang. That's not good. Uh, how much does that give us? So it's half a hunger haunch and half a saturation per apple. Yeah, I guess it is better just to turn it into the apple juice. We get the same amount of hunger, but we get way more saturation. All right, well, we'll do that just so we're not going to be starving to death. Hopefully when I go back and forth uh, between the mob farm and getting bone meal and stuff, our hunger will take care of itself. And that is quite the speed boost, isn't it? Speed one. Okay, well, yeah, we're pretty much just waiting on the mob farm. This wanted us to get 16 bones, 64 rotten flesh, and four ender pearls. This is going to take a minute with our current spawn rates. I don't know if it would be better for us to just make a dark room and set up something completely different for the mob farm if we need that much stuff it's gonna take a long time with our current setup with how low the spawn rates are hmm we'll have to figure that out so is there anything else that we can do at the moment here can we do like floral fertilizer i think we looked at that last time and we couldn't make that yeah we need dandelion yellow and rose red plus bone meal in order to make that uh, looks like we can get that from loot bags, so maybe that's how we're going to get it in the future. A lot of good stuff coming from the loot bags, isn't there? I was just kind of looking at the different things. Uh, inventory upgrade e to, to upgrade your inventory. Okay. Uh, the ender. Yeah, if we could get some of these loot bags off the mobs from our mob farm, that would be really, really good, especially if it's got some nice items in it. So what, we got at least one creeper in here. Let's see what happens. What up, creeper? Can't see me, so you're not gonna explode, huh? And doesn't drop anything. Oh boy, this is gonna take a minute. Well, we had a couple zombies spawn in here, and I killed them, we got some raw flesh. I was looking at this. We need like a stack of this stuff, right? But I was looking at this, and it says that we can't turn it into monster jerky for a decent amount of food. So if, you know, worse comes to worse, we have this as an option. But let's try and kill Mr. Enderman here and see if we can get ourselves some Ender Pearls. Come on. Well, we got one Ender Pearl. Well, I guess we're only going to get one. We don't have looting, right? 
So we got ourselves one ender pearl. We needed to get a total of four of those, I believe. Yeah. So we're a quarter of the way there on this. Hmm. We only needed 16 bones as well. So I'm going to start saving those up. And then Ron Flesh, we need a full stack. That is going to take a little bit of time. It's a lot of zombies for us to kill. Anyway, guys, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. We got some decent stuff going on. We finally got ourselves an apple tree. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't work as good as I thought it was going to work. Um, but, you know, it is a source of food. We got ourselves a mob farm. We made ourselves a sieve, which we haven't gotten a chance to use yet. We'll probably be looking at that very soon. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.